Joe Biden, who's on a book tour, was speaking with the LA Times and had this to say about millennials. I only had two political heroes in my whole life. And this is not new. I've been s said this since 1972, Dr. King and Robert Kennedy. And up to that point, there was a war raging. There was a, a bitter fight over even whether we should talk about the environment. Women were still viewed as second-class citizens and not prepared to have significant jobs, uh, thought that. And uh, we were told uh, the people didn't talk to one another over the war. And uh, we were told, drop out, go out to hate Asbury, uh, get engaged. Now, you know, shortly after I graduated in 68, uh, Kent State, 17 kids shot dead. And so the younger generation now tells me how tough things are. Give me a break. <laughs> no, no. I have no empathy for it. Give me a break. Because here's the deal, guys. We decided we were going to change the world, and we did. We did. We finished the civil rights movement to the first stage. The women's movement came into being. So my message is, get involved. There's no place to hide. You can go out and you can make all the money in the world, but you can't build a wall high enough to keep the pollution out. You can't live where you're in a, you, you, you can't not be diminished when your sister can't marry the man or woman or the woman she, she loves. You can't, when you have a good friend being profiled, you can't escape this stuff. So I found this video incredibly bizarre because he starts off talking about how it was tough for his generation in the 60s because there was a war raging, there was a bitter fight over talking about the environment, women are viewed as second-class citizens, and there's this quote which doesn't make any sense, but this is a direct quote from Joe Biden, quote, and uh, we were told uh, the people didn't talk to one another over the war. Okay, I, I, I don't really know what that means. He seemed to be all over the place. But anyways, so he's talking about, you know, all that terrible stuff. And then he, he discusses how we finished the civil rights movement to the first stage. Uh, the women's movement came into being. And so my message is get involved. So, <laughs> let me try to address the first part of this. Joe Biden is talking about how things were terrible for his generation, and then we made it better, like, or they made it better. They got involved, and they changed how things were. So, okay. But, how do you... Joe Biden is such a confusing person. He says this, and then he goes on to say, you should get involved in the politics because the environment is bad, is bad. And, you know, you can't build a wall high enough to stop the pollution. So get involved in politics. But, but he says that after saying that, quote, the younger generation now tells me how tough things are. Give me a break. I have no empathy for it. Give me a break. Okay, so you're saying things aren't that bad for us. But then you're saying you should get involved because things are bad. So let's just try to pretend that Joe Biden made some sense in this clip. And I'm going to try and address the things that he did say. So before he goes on to complain about millennials, right before, he talks about Kent State, where campus protesters were shot by the Ohio National Guard. Okay, yeah, that was a terrible event. But... 2017 was deemed the deadliest year for mass shootings in modern U.S. history. Now, I get it. The National Guard is not the ones doing the shootings. But to act like everything is great now and all the bad things happened in the past, that leads to complacency. And then people don't get involved because you keep talking about how much worse things used to be. And things are great now. So how do you intend to influence a younger generation to get involved when all you're talking about is how great things are for millennials now compared to your generation. I mean, the argument doesn't make any sense. So let's go to some actual data here to show that millennials are not better off than Joe Biden's generation. So this from Fortune. Millennials are worth half as much as their parents were at the same age. 
The report by group Young Invincibles using Federal Reserve data found that millennials, 15 to 34 year olds in 2013, were worth roughly half as much as the boomer generation and are earning about 20% less in comparison to young adults in 1989. While millennials earned $40,581 on average in 2013, members of the boomer generation earned $50,910 annually in 1989. Meanwhile, young adults with debt and a degree in 2013 earned roughly the same as those who had no degree at all in 1989, $50,000. While millennials are worth about $10,900, the boomers were worth $25,035 at the same age. So millennials are actually worse off, and Biden has actually contributed to that. As a report in International Business Times states, Joe Biden backed bills to make it harder for Americans to reduce their student debt. Jennifer Ryan did not love the idea of taking on debt, but she figured she was investing in her future, leaving her with $192,000 in student loan debt. As a senator from Delaware, a corporate tax haven where the financial industry is one of the state's largest employers, Biden was one of the key proponents of the 2005 legislation that is now bearing down on students like Ryan. That bill effectively prevents the $150 billion worth of private student loan debt from being discharged, rescheduled, or renegotiated, as other debt can be in bankruptcy court. So millennials are worse off, and Joe Biden has only added to that. Now, if I were to try and throw Joe Biden some kind of bone here, I think maybe he was just referring to social movements in terms of women's rights and minority rights. But even then, yeah, things have gotten better since the 60s, but there's still a long way to go. So to act like it was so much worse back then and to just sit back now and do nothing, that's not really an argument. I don't know how you get people involved in politics when you act like things aren't that bad. So this is the, the, the weird messaging of Joe Biden, where he doesn't really know what he's saying. And it makes analyzing his words incredibly tough because he doesn't have a singular message. He's sort of all over the place. So, yeah, millennials do, in fact, have it tough. And we're not just complaining about it. We are trying to change it and get things done. And the fact that you are positioning yourself as the anti-Bernie person doesn't help you because the younger generation is worth Bernie Sanders. That's the message, a real progressive message, is what the younger generation is fighting for. But people like you, Joe Biden, are in the way of that.